I'm Executive Director Kevin Robertson, and this is the KDA Video Minute for Thursday, March 13th. The Kansas Dental Association is once again hosting the Real World Transition Brunch during the UMKC Midwest Dental Conference. If you're a dentist looking for an associate or wanting to sell your practice, this is a great opportunity to connect with dental students entering the profession. Visit ksdental.org to register or for more information. Let's start off with the discussion of the Kansas legislature and issues that uh, are facing dentistry. Yesterday in the Senate Committee on Public Health and Welfare, we had a hearing on House Bill 2611. That's the bill that changes the majority rule or 50% rule regarding satellite practices to 20%. It is a bill that the Kansas Dental Association is supporting and has put forward. Uh, the hearing went very well. Dr. Cindy Sherwood, our president-elect, as well as Dr. Brett Roos came up to testify on behalf of that bill. In addition, Dr. Dan Thomas testified, so we appreciate all their support. Oral Health Kansas provided written testimony uh, in support of that particular bill. Actually, later today, Thursday, the bill will have um, be discussed and worked in the committee, and we are hopeful that it will come out uh, clean, meaning with no amendments, and uh, it'll move forward to then the Senate floor. I'd like to bring to your attention that Dr. Dexter Woods, the dental director of the AEGD program at Wichita State University, has resigned uh, as the dental director effective at the end of this semester. As a result, Wichita State's in the process of doing a search for a new dental director. They have posted that position already at various outlets. The Kansas Dental Association will be posting that as well as we receive the information from Wichita State. The minimum requirement is that you have to be a graduate of a GPR or an AEGD program in order to, uh, to meet that minimum requirement uh, for that dental director. So if you are at all interested, I would encourage you to, to consider that and check for more information on our website or other outlets uh, that, so that you can apply. Of course, we are now less than a month away from the UMKC Midwest Dental Conference at the Sheridan Crown Center in Kansas City. The dates of that uh, particular event are April 10th through the 12th. Again, the Kansas Dental Association has a variety of, of meetings uh, in, during that time, including committee meetings, our board meeting, our actual, our annual membership meeting, as well as our real world transition brunch. And now this year, our, we're going to have a member reception. There have been or will be specific invitations to each of the events during the course of the meeting, whether or not you're on a committee, you're on the Board of Delegates, or of course uh, all of our members have or will be receiving very shortly our, the notice of the annual meeting and some bylaw changes that we have. So please check, check for those. In addition, on Friday evening, we will have our first member reception. We've done away with the old President's reception. We'll be inviting all of our members to participate in an evening reception at UMKC. So we hope that you will join us for that if you're at the meeting. And then also, of course, the Real World Transition Brunch. Information has gone out on that. That is, again, our annual opportunity for you to meet with uh, the dental students as they graduate if you're looking for a new associate or looking for a new owner of your dental practice. All that information has already gone out, and we look forward to seeing you at UMKC April 10th through the 12th. Let me remind you, if you are participating in the Kansas Dental Association activities, including Board of Delegates, our annual meeting, any committees, uh, or the past president's breakfast, or whatever it might be, um, you do not have to register for the UMKC Midwest Dental Conference. I would, however, encourage you to attend the Midwest Dental Conference. We have uh, information and a link to the UMKC Midwest Dental Conference uh, so that you can register for that meeting. Uh, but that is through UMKC. It is not through the Kansas Dental Association. All right, I don't want you to forget that coming up in June, June 5th through the 7th, we're going to be in Colorado Springs with our, our summer getaway. We'll be at the Cheyenne Mountain Resort and uh, have lots of activities planned for you in and around the Colorado Springs area, Royal Gorge, uh, train ride being one of those. So, uh, again, please look for information on that. It has not gone out yet, but we will be uh, putting that together and getting that to you shortly. As we fast forward later into the summer, on Saturday, August 29th, the Kansas Dental Association will be hosting a, a tailgate event at, with Sporting Kansas City, the MLS defending champions, as they host their rival, the Houston Dynamo, at beautiful 
sporting park in the Legends area of Kansas City. Now, in the past, as you know, we have done the, the KU K State Sunflower Showdown. We've tried then to do just a KU or K State game as st scheduling conflicts has moved that game to uh, the Saturday after Thanksgiving. That's a holiday. We have not felt um, that that is a weekend that we can really host an event, be have a successful event. So we're going to try to do this uh, the Sporting Kansas City event. It's a time we know the kickoff for that event will be at 7 o'clock on that Saturday evening, so we don't have to wait until two weeks prior to plan our plan the activity. So uh, please pay attention to that. And if you're at all interested in soccer or would like to attend a, a soccer game uh, for the first time, we certainly would encourage your participation for that. The Kansas Dental Association Board of Delegates has approved a strategic planning process that will be beginning later this year. Uh, a design team of the executive committee will be working with the folks that we're contracting with at Wichita State University to facilitate our planning in order to put together a survey document um, that we will be asking all of our members and non-members alike to evaluate the different activities of the Kansas Dental Association. It's not just evaluating the activities that we're doing right now, it's also will be uh, trying to provide feedback to us as to what we could do better and what we could do that we're not currently doing that might encourage more participation from members and non-members alike. So that will be coming up later in the summer. We encourage you then to, f to fill out that particular application or that uh, evaluation, excuse me. The plan is that we will send that out electronically, try to get as many back as we can uh, after a couple efforts uh, and emails, we'll then have to send that out probably via paper to the rest of the members that don't respond. But obviously our, our goal is to get as many members and non-members as possible to participate and be part of the process. So uh, we look forward to you helping us out and your feedback as to uh, the programs of the Kansas Dental Association. With that, I'd like to thank you for joining me for another KDA Video Minute and enjoy a fantastic weekend.